What does it mean to be a woman in this game, in this country? In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortion. In this moment. And what would I say to my eight-year-old self? The one who fell in love with the sport. And in the process, fell in love with a dream of what she could become. Why were you so passionate about this? So it all comes down to this. It was always part of you. Sunday's rituals, church, football, homework, repeat. Your first tears when your team lost to Kurt Warner's Rams by one yard. No, he falls at the one. One yard. The St. Louis Rams are the world champions. Why the love for the game? Must be your dad. No, my mom actually. A single mom. Feminine, strong. My superhero. Yes, she had imperfections. But she taught me you could be both. Elegant and strong. Graceful and tough. The catch. Oh, the spin! It's fierce, it's bold. Again, everybody thinks it's a man's game. Then, in the second grade, that's when I saw her. Now, this past week, the NFL worked with all the teams. The she looks like you, and she had something to say. She gives you a glimpse of the storyteller you could someday become. So you worked for it. Every opportunity earned, not given, earned. You grew older, stronger, and wiser. But still you ask yourself, do you deserve to be here? Are you smart enough? Are you pretty enough? Are you too pretty, too feminine, too funny, not serious enough, too sexy, not sexy enough? Gosh, do you even know football? And let's not start on if you want a career, you can't have a family. But wait, when will I have time for a family? There has been a lot of times being a woman has been very frustrating. It's crazy sometimes to see how hard we have to fight to play the game we love. But we keep fighting. Why? Honestly, part animalistic, part responsibility. A responsibility to the women who have paved the way, who remind you, you too deserve to be here. I think it starts with us, India, where we as women who have been successful where we are, we continue to pull women forward to where we don't allow the needle to go back. Today, the Supreme Court has overturned Roe v. Wade. And together we make it again and again. It's what we do. I am not this woman without those women. I'm not this woman without those women. I am not this woman without those women. I don't know what it's like to be in a life and not fight. I don't know what that Tony Harris looks like. India, I'm the one that controls that destiny. I mean, I am not about to allow someone to shut the door on me. So the journey continues. Painful, rewarding, beautiful. And we charge on for her and her for them. At Kamala Davy Harris, I solemnly swear. <laughs>
Damn, I am proud to be a woman. Damn, I am proud to be a woman. Damn, I am proud to be a woman. Damn, I'm proud to be a woman. Damn, I'm proud to be a woman. Damn! And so, what does it mean to be a woman? Everything.